Hello guys, in this video we will make TCP server application for Android OS. Before that, let us quickly see what an TCP application uh, is and how it works. As in the video, there are two applications, one is TCP server and the one is TCP client. So this server will be connected with a client, actually a server is made client will send a request for a connection as you see here so one uh, server is available this one is the server which is available so when we press it so we are connected as as you can see we are connected so now whatever you send from the client side server will receive and whatever you send from the server side client will receive server said hi so the client said hello whatsapp client said all fine so like this we will make TCP server application and in our next tutorial we will be making a TCP client application also okay so as these uh, two applications you can download from the Play Store also by Cyborg Systems Limited I will show you also just go into the Play Store and type TCP server or TCP client and in the list you will see the application by cyborg systems limited you can download applications and you can make your other applications and you can test your application like if you are making a tcp server application so you can download cyborg systems tcp client application and you can test your own application with that so now let us quickly make a tcp server in android studio we have just only four steps to make Android TCP server so what you have to do is just create a new project firstly go into the file go into new and create a new project this is your first step we will make a server in just four steps so just click next 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 and finish and your project project will made then after go into the manifest file this is your second step and open android manifest and add two permissions just before application tag one is access network state another one is internet as you know this is a tcp application so we need the access for the networks and maybe sometimes for the internet also so you have to add two permissions now your third step is go into the layout file and add and edit text into that just only edit text you can give the any id to it uh, and you have to make scroll bars vertical cursor visibility false and width fill parent and height wrap content this is your third step now your fourth step is main step is going into the main activity and in main activity what you do is in this starting you have to define some variables some objects actually for a TCP server you need mainly two classes one is socket another one is server socket so server socket class actually will create a TCP server and socket class will be used for a communication with the client so make an object of a socket server we will use one handler for UI updation so take one handler everything will be done with a threading we are going to use two threads so define a thread second thread we will define inside one thread you can define it outside also but we have not defined we have defined one thread outside and now take an edit text and define the port number on which you want to create a TCP server and make sure 
the IP address will be the same IP address that is assigned by your router to your mobile as you have connected a mobile with the router so you have been assigned a IP address on that IP and in this particular port your server will be created now in on create take a ID of edit text from uh, activity main now make a instance of a handler class and now start the thread in the first thread we will create a server and we will wait for a client to connect with our server so firstly in the thread implements runnable in the run we take a socket but we'll use the socket after that previously we will use the server socket and we will create a server on port 6000 now we'll go into the loop and we'll use this socket and this socket dot accept is waiting for a client client request once we give a client get a client request then we'll go into the communication thread and we will start a communication now in second thread communication thread what we does is when we are connected with a socket now we will use the buffer reader class we'll use buffer reader class to read the input stream so now define a buffer reader with the input stream and pass the socket to that and then after inside you are waiting for a read line you are uh, waiting for a read line if read line is not null that means there is something that's coming from a client so we will update that into the UI means we will show it into the mobile otherwise we will return and we will start a thread again that means there is Diff, uh, connection maybe the connection is disconnected so le let us see what this application does just click here So now the code is running. You have to open show your tabs here. This one. So now this is our client application this is the application we made and as you see this is available here we click on this now we are connected with our application that we have just made in this application and if you will see once we receive the message and we'll start a UI thread and here we will show the message into the edit box like client says whatever the message coming from a client and let us see whatever the message is coming here like I will send something from here like I said Q and I send it maybe W and then we send it can send anything like something a b c d send so this is a very small application here we are just receiving the data from the client we can also send the data in our next videos i will show you how you can send the data from the server so for now uh, this that's all from my side Thank you for watching the video. Have a great day.